Hello class and welcome to lesson 6.1 on powers and exponents. So here's our warm up. I already wrote the answers for us, but I want us to have this down. So the big number, our integer, is called the base. And that's because this is what we're basing everything off of. And as you might remember from earlier grades, that little number that's at the top right corner where we always put it is called our exponent. Is the base always a 5? Is the exponent always a 2? Nod or shake your head. No, it can be anything we want it to be. It can be anything. So let's look. The base is called our factor. And our exponent is how many times we multiply that factor. So as you can see here as an example, this is called a to the third power because I've got my letter a as my base. And that is my third. Normally, and that's how we write it, a times a times a. We wrote it one, two, three times with multiplication. So this little part, our answer is gonna be called a perfect square. What I want you to do is I want you to type the answer in the chat. I got, I got the answer most often that you guys wrote was 18. Huh. We're having a problem there. Mariana, do you want to tell us what the problem is? Um, basically, how can I explain this? Hold on. Time the bo the number, time the number. Like, I don't, like, let's say if it was a three, you have to time nine times, nine times, nine times nine. And then if it's just a two, you have to time nine times nine, which you get 81, not 18. She is perfectly correct there. So just like we saw on the previous page, it's writing that number however many times, but multiplying it. So the mistake that a lot of you guys made was that you treated this as nine times two. That would be written as nine times two or two or two times nine but notice how it looks different nine times or nine to the second power or nine squared is nine times nine so exactly as mariana said cynthia wrote it in the chat we had uh, wait, wait 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 so exactly it's not nine times two it's nine written twice then we multiply it and as a lot of you have written in the chat, nine times nine is 81. Now, I know that that's just 18 flipped around, but that's not how the answers work. That we just got lucky with. Lucas asked a great question about nine squared. Why can't it be, you know, like nine to the first power times nine to the first power? That is the same thing. If I had nine cubed, I would do it again. What this little number means is just how many times I'm gonna write my base. So if I had seven to the fourth power, I'm gonna write seven, ah, as I'm already messing up, a grand total of four times. And we use multiplication. Ella asked why it's called a perfect square. Here's why it's called a perfect square. When we have a square, the sides are the same, right? So that just means we call it a perfect square because if we just called it a square, we're just gonna think it's the shape. Nobody really refers to it as a perfect square, so you don't need to worry about that. But as we see, this means nine squared. Notice I drew a shape. This is nine times nine in a square. So to find the area, length times width, nine times nine, we get 81, right? I like to call it the squaria, because we're finding the area of a square. It's the squaria. Hey, let's think about this. Ella also asked this question earlier. What about cubed? You ready? Here is a cubed. This would be 10 to the third power, which is actually going to end up being a thousand. You don't need to worry about that. Notice it's the shape of a cube. We've got length, 
times width times height. Doesn't matter which side is which, honestly. That's why we call it a cube. Now I have a question for you guys. Is there a shape in the fourth dimension? Do we have fourth dimensional shapes in, in the earth? Do we have fourth dimensional shapes? No, we do not have fourth dimensional shapes. So since we don't have a fourth dimensional shape, once we get over three, we just call it to the blank power, to the fourth power, to the 17th power, to the whatever. You can even call it to the second power and to the third power, but people also refer to it as squared and cubed. Nine squared is not equal to nine times two. It is not equal to nine times two. I write nine that many times and I multiply them. So because it's a two, I write nine one, two times, and then I multiply it. Those are not equal. Vahe hey, asked a great question where he said, what if it was nine to the fourth? Could I just write nine times four? And the answer is no. Again, what this means, nine to the fourth, means I have to write nine four times. One, two, three, four. So that would be how I would have to write it. I can't write nine times four. Nine times four gives me 36. Do you think nine times nine times nine times nine is gonna give me 36? What do we think, yeah or no? No, we already know nine times nine is 81. That's already too big. So we have to make sure we know how to write our exponents. So when we write it with that little exponent, we write it in little exponent form when we, with a little exponent at the top. When we write it in product form, product means multiply. Ella, how would I write three times three times three times three in exponential form with an exponent? Uh, it would be three to, three to the fourth power. Exactly. We see three written four times. We see three written four times. This is not the same as three times four. I can already tell you because that's three times three. Three times three is nine. Three times three is nine. And then we get 81. Remember, I'm not gonna make you solve these yet. Delaney, what about 10 to the fifth? How would I write that? Okay, um, it would be uh, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 five times. Yeah. Like, yeah. Perfect. We write 10 five times. We write this number five times. And with a multiplication sign in the middle. Excellent. If it was 100, then I, go, I, like, I put the like, tiny, you, I don't know what you call them. Did you yeah, chunk it like I, this? I put them and then do the same thing to the other side for those two tens. And then I multiply those, which gives me 10,000. Then I multiply by 10 again, and I get 100,000. Exactly. So she grouped it. That's how I like to do it, too where she grouped the numbers, she knows 10 times 10 is 100. So she did another 10 times 10 is 100. Then she multiplied 100 times 100. She got uh, 10,000. We know that based on the number of zeros. Like I said, you don't necessarily need to be doing this now. And then we multiplied it by that last 10. It's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Not 10 times five, not 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, not any of that. So it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But all you need to know is how to write it right now in exponential form and in product form. So I want you to do this one, okay? I want you to look at this one. So Lucas, right now it wants us to write four times four times four using an exponent. So the first blank, the factor blank is the base. What number goes there, Lucas? Uh, four. Perfect. Just like we wrote earlier, the factor four is the base. Then, Lucas, the factor is multiplied how many times? Three. It is multiplied three times. So what is the exponent then? The exponent is three. And then how could I write four times four times four? Yeah, four with an exponent of three. We would say four with an exponent of three. We could say four to the third power. We could say four cubed. They all mean the same thing. 
as long as you know that the little three goes there. That little three is indicating we're not writing four times three. We're writing four three times and multiplying it. Here we got this. I want us to write it with an exponent. So Ella, what is seven times seven times seven times seven if I wrote it with an exponent? Seven to the fourth power. Seven to the fourth power. Abner, what about this one? Nine times nine times nine times nine times nine times nine times nine. How would I write that with an exponent? Uh, so the first number is going to be nine and then the one at the top is going to be... Yes, perfect, Abner. And our little number, our exponent is going to be seven because we see nine written. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Notice how much easier it is to write something with an exponent rather than write nine out seven times, right? Like that, that just gets annoying. I want you guys to write this as a product first. It says and solve, but we will solve together. So Camilla, five squared, how would I write that as a product? You would write five squared as five times five. Perfect. Two fives, because we write five two times. And then what's the answer? 25. 25. Excellent. Amelia, what about one and five tenths, 1 1.5 to the third power? How would I write that, Amelia? You do 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5. Excellent. So, Vahe, what about one half? to the third power. One half times one half times one half. Excellent. So for these ones, we wrote it that many times. Now I know that it's hard to solve these, but let's I think I can do that. I when we multiply fractions, we across multiply. We across multiply. Remember, we cross cancel, but we across multiply. Vahe, what would our answer be? One eighth. One eighth, exactly. We across multiplied. We did one times one times one. That's just one. Two times two is four. Times two is eight. We get one eighth. The other one, 1 1.5 times 1 1.5 times 1 1.5. It's much easier if we make 1.5, one and five tenths into a mixed into an improper fraction into a fraction in general just to save us time that's three halves so if we were doing three halves times three halves times three halves for the sake of time we already know two times two times two was eight three times three is nine nine times three gives me 27. this would be it as an improper fraction or three and three eighths that would just be how we would solve it, but the majority of the times I'm not going to ask you to solve. So here, I want us to write it as a product again. I want us to write it as a product. So Hannah, how would I write 10 to the fifth power with as a product? I'm swapping Hannah, she's going to go second. Marley, how would I write this first one? Excellent. I wrote it 10 five times. That is not the same as 10 times five. I wrote 10 five times. So Hannah, how would I write 2.1 or two and one tenths squared? How would I write that? Four to the second power. You said it 2.1 two times. Yeah, we would write 2.1 times 2.1. We wrote that number two times and we're multiplying it. Excellent. Michaela, what about this last one? How would I write it? Excellent. One fourth times one fourth. And a lot of you wrote in the chat the answer to that bottom one. We across multiply with our fractions and we get one sixteenth. I don't feel like solving the other ones. We already did 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 and got 100,000. 2.1 times 2.1. I'm not exactly sure. Let's say it's like four point something.
I want you to go to page 436, okay? And you're gonna start the guided practice. So this first one, we're writing each product, which means multiplication, as an exponent, using an exponent. That's what we're doing for the first part. Then we're gonna write for the next three, each of them as a product of the same factor. It says find the value. Do it if you can. And then lastly, again, it's asking us, I want you to write it as a product and try to solve it. For the first one, Amelia, how would I write this product using an exponent? Um, 8 to the third power. 8 to the third power. Excellent. Lila, what about the next one? Excellent. 1 to the fifth power. Perfect. Michaela, write each power as a product of the same factor. How would I write 1 seventh to the third power? Perfect. 1 seventh times 1 seventh times 1 seventh. We wrote it three times. Lucas, what about 2 to the fifth? How would I write that? Perfect. Delaney, what about this next one? One and four tenths squared. So how would I write it? Oh, uh, number five or number six? Five. Um, one, four, two times? One point four, one and four tenths, two times, times that. Excellent. Dolan, what about this one? I want you to write this. Currently, it is an exponent. I want you to write each power as the product of the same factor. So how would I write this one, Dolan, number six? Seven. Perfect, we would write it as seven times seven times seven. Thumbs up or thumbs down? How do we feel about this? Pretty easy, pretty bet, like pretty hard, so-so. See a lot of thumbs up, which is great. I know it takes some practice, but you'll get used to it. Here is your homework. Your homework is page 347, or three, or 437, as I'm saying the wrong things. It's page 437, numbers 1 through 10. 10, you're going to do parts A and B, but you are not going to do C. If you can try to solve them, especially the easy ones, that would be awesome. But you do not have to solve them. You do not have to solve them.